Welcome back everybody to Boats vs. Hallover, where man and machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet in Miami, Florida, and today's going to be an interesting one. It's not overly rough down here, but we have a ton of traffic, which is creating some massive wakes, and it's going to be interesting to see how our captains fare as they step in the ring and try to battle with the inlet. And here we go, our first captain's ready to roll and ready to jump into the ring with the inlet and is going to be a sea fox trying to make its way out of haulover. They're taking a little bit of the slow roll approach. They don't have a bad pace going, but lots of big boats coming through. They hit a wig. Oh my God, she's airborne. Oh man, she is down. I hope she's okay. That was a rough fall. Our crew obviously has had to make the haulover U-turn. We've seen some movement in the back. Our girl appears to be okay, but man, that was a rough one and definitely a win for the inlet here in the first round. But let's go ahead and see if our captains can turn it around here in the second round of our competition. And here we go, we've got a sea hunt making its way out of the inlet, party crew rolling, throttles down, and this crew is not gonna have any problems, but they show off once and guess what? They wanna turn around, show off coming back in also. Captain, same situation here. Once again, it's not that rough of a day. He happened to catch a break in the action and is able just to pound it through with his crew and take a win for the boats here in the second round. Let's see if the boats can keep the momentum going as we feature a Willcraft stepping in the ring in the third round. And here we go. And our crew, we've got a bow rider and they stuff it early. Oh man, water comes over the bow right up front, and we know that's an automatic loss, but our guy in the bow is taking a pounding in this situation. Oh, the airborne smackdown. I don't know if this dude's gonna be able to walk straight for a week after this one, but man, our crew's coming out a little slow. He just happened to come out at the wrong time. We had a ton of traffic come through at once, kicked up some wake, and our guy in the bow is paying for it, and the inlet will take the win here in this third round. And that'll move us into the fourth round with the inlet up two to one, and here we go. We got a Mako making its way out of haulover, and this will be our fourth round contestant. Cap lays down on the throttle, getting the boat moving at a pretty decent pace. They've got a little bit of giddy up in their step and a little bounce on the bow as well. A little trim tab might smooth this out just nice, but really not a bad pace. They barely have the boat up on plane, which is just good enough to let the boat do the work in this situation. They hit a couple wakes, but it doesn't look like they're gonna have any issues. And our crew is gonna take a win here in the fourth round. And that's gonna take us to a two to two tie as we move into the fifth and final round of our competition. And let's go, let's see who can take the win in this episode. Whether it will be the boats or all over inlet. And no, <laughs> this is not the way the boats wanted to end this one. We've got some kids in the bow with no life jackets on. And as you guys know, that is an automatic loss in this situation. And that means Hallover is going to get the wind on a penalty, basically. But it is what it is. Hallover takes the win in this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boats vs. Hallover. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we've got the Miami Boat Ramps channel that focuses on all the hilarity that happens in the boat ramps in South Florida. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.